Dr. Eagle, the head of international department of Nicolai Testimkano State University of Medicine and Pharmacy, and Dr. Pavel, the vice dean of the university. So, first of all, thank you so much for joining us today. So, I would request you to tell me about the universities, like overview of the universities. So thank you for your invitation. <clears throat> uh, uh, we are representing the State University of Medicine and Pharmacy of the Republic of Moldova. Mm, uh, our university is pure governmental university and uh, we have three main faculties at our university, that is medicine, dentistry and pharmacy, which are available for international students as well. And so university was founded in 1945 and we have a very good experience in uh, teaching international students. Over 6,000 international students already graduated our university. And currently we have a big Indian community of uh, Indian students who studied at various courses. Uh, almost of them joined uh, our medical and uh, course. So many of students ask about the NMC approval that is very important for Indian students. So, yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, actually, our university meets all the requirements of NMC. So, uh, the curricula is identical for international and local students. Uh, so, uh, uh, the medical training consists of 360 credits. Um, as well, we organize uh, an internship after graduation, uh, 12 months according to the regulation of NMC. And uh, the graduates have exactly the same rights as local graduates. So they can join residency and uh, um, are uh, junior doctors and can practice in our hospitals. Okay. And how many Indian students are graduating now and is the passing ratio? Uh, so currently, um, um, over 200 Indian students already graduated our university. Um, and uh, also we have uh, over 1,200 students uh, studying at our university. Almost of them are um, quite good students and uh, the passing ratio is, uh, is high. The most hard question about is hostel facilities, like especially for the girls. Yeah, uh, so uh, considering the requests of uh, parents uh, of Indian girls, uh, uh, so we provide separate facility for boys and for girls, hostel facility. Uh, so currently we have two hostels for boys and three hostels for girls. Uh, because Moldova is a safe place uh, and uh, we provide the separate facility, hostel facility of accommodation for boys and girls, um, we have a, a large population of girls uh, from India studying in our university. And the duration of the course? Uh, the duration of MBS in our university is six years. After six years, it is necessary to uh, enter 12 months internship according to regulation of National Medical Commission. Six plus one. Six plus one, that's right. Okay. And uh, what is the language of license exam? Is English or uh, like local language of Moldova? So, if the student joins the uh, English program, uh, so all uh, activities uh, are done in English only. So that includes courses, practical lessons, seminars, uh, activities, patients, including all types of examination, including license examination. Uh, what is the admission process and which process is required for? So admission process is uh, uh, quite simple. Uh, it is necessary to submit uh, the documents to the university. Um, uh, the university forwarded the, the documents to the Minister of Education approval. And uh, after an interview, uh, students are invited to study. There is no admission exam. Actually, the um, list of documents uh, is also simple, so students should provide a copy of their passports, um, um, plus two certificate to the postulation, um, criminal record to the postulation, and uh, also birth certificate. And that's it. And also, um, our university is famous for uh, huge clinic exposure of students. Uh, so, uh, exposure uh, starts in uh, the first year when the students have uh, um, uh, one uh, clinical subject uh, and gradually is increasing. Uh, so, the uh, university has access to over uh, 6,000 beds in the hospitals and uh, 
uh, all clinical departments are located in hospitals. So that's why students are permanently involved in, um, uh, so in communication interaction with patients and doctors. Mm -hmm. And uh, when the classes start, how many semesters? So the um, semester begins on September 1st. Um, that's why it is necessary to apply documents up to August 15. <clears throat> and uh, in case of uh, spring intake, uh, the semester starts in uh, February. Okay, so that's all. Uh, thank you so much for giving us time. Thank you so much. Thank you. Today with us, uh, Dr. Pavel. A vice Dean of Nicolai Test and Plano State University of Medicine and Pharmacy. So, sir, can you please tell me about the clinical exposure in uh, that university? So, the clinical course is mm -hmm. mainly from the fourth year. So, the education is uh, split in modules. So, we have no session like one month for exams. That's every module, according to the program and length, uh, for gynecology is two months and students are completely in the gynecological department, which he has with the exam. With students which come to my department as a virology one, uh, they start with lectures daily from 8 till 10 p.m. After this, seminars and clinical practice only. Uh, So-called shadowing system, so they assist and uh, come with me to the visit to the patient, to discuss the cases, uh, they go with me in operation room, operation theater. So all daily practices in the clinic uh, are shared by local and foreign students. Okay, so is it uh, like the hospitals they can practice or uh, there is you know simulation centers? Yes, actually we have a very good simulation center in uh, our hospital. It's one of the highest of the biggest in uh, Eastern uh, Europe. Um, the part of uh, irrigation, but not in our course, the pass through here yeah, is uh, high fidelity simulators for uh, different situations, uh, clinical scenario they pass, but it's not about the urology. So. And what is the duration of clinical and non clinical uh, uh, system? Like? So, clinics start from the first year by one course at emergency medicine mm -hmm. and Second year become more per year is mainly surgery, semiology and uh, therapy, semiology. These two subjects pass through the in clinical hospitals. Uh, others, uh, pharmacology, preclinical subjects, they are parallel, but mainly in the first three years is preclinical or theoretical part, starting with four years of the every year study. It's become pure clinical modules. So can Indian students deal with the local patients? Uh, deal with the fourth year mainly uh, uh, and foreign students and Indian students as well because they start to be a part of the community so they go to the magazines, to the markets so on, they communicate with the taxi drivers and uh, uh, obtain uh, uh, some local student friends. Uh, and uh, it's promoted the uh, student association common and is part of the Indian student association. So till the fourth year actually the main necessary questions which in collaboration and the investigation of the patient need to be done is they are good, very good performed by Indian students. They have no problem with this uh, actually. So some not literally but uh, for communicate with the local and even so Romanian speaking patient, they have no problem. I think that's all we need to know, sir. Thank you so much. For <laughs>